Hi, and in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert, format and edit a chart in Word. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to go up to the Insert tab and go along to the icon that says Chart. Click on the drop down and then you have a number of different options to choose from. So for the sake of the demonstration, we're simply going to choose a column chart and then we're just going to go down to this first chart here. When you insert your chart, this Excel spreadsheet will appear as a default. This spreadsheet contains all of your data and this is all to be changed. So this is all example data. And so all you do is go along and change each of these and add columns and data in order to change your chart. So if we just go along, to category one and put in a date. As I click on the next cell down, you'll be able to see that my category one has changed. And if we put the next year in, click on the next one and just begin to change those dates, you can see now that everything begins to change in my chart. If I wanted to add another set of columns, just come down to the next row down and just type in a new piece of data and the chart will update automatically as will the spreadsheet. And let's just put some random data in there and you can see the data has automatically appeared. The next thing to do is to deal with your series here series one, two and three. So these series will directly correlate to each column on each year. So let's say this is for a car retailer. So in series one, I've put in data for those vehicles sold, for those vehicles bought and those vehicles rented. And again at the bottom you can see that all of those have now changed. And I'll just go in and enter additional data just to show you how that data will change in my chart. And there you are, that data has changed for 2001. And then just go ahead and change all the relevant data in your spreadsheet. Once you're done, you can go ahead and change all of this. Make sure that you have highlighted your chart and then you have two additional tabs at the top here, both chart design and chart format. In chart design, if you go along to edit data in Excel and just click on it, it will bring back up your spreadsheet. So you can go ahead and change your data again. If you decide that this chart isn't for you, and again, you can go up on the chart design tab and go along to change chart type, click on the drop down, and then you can go ahead and select any other of the charts. Now on to formatting this chart. So now I want to change the chart title. So I just click on it, command or control A to select the chart title, and then we can just put in the title of our choice. Once we're happy with that, if we press command or control A again, go up to the home tab, then we can go ahead and change any of the fonts and the size of our font and then you can obviously change the colours, the boldness, italics etc and then just check off and you have your title. The next thing to show you is how to format and change the legends both at the bottom here and at the side. So as I demonstrate this side one here, exactly the same will apply to the bottom one here. So if you click so that this element here is highlighted, you'll see that this menu changes at the side to say format axis. Go down to the axis options here, make sure that's highlighted. And once again, you're given a menu. If you click on axis options, then here you can change all the different numbers and configurations that you want along that left hand side and again along the bottom. 
So here at the moment our maximum number is 9. Of course if you want to change that you just click and highlight the number and just pop in the number that you want. And as you can see the chart has changed, the maximum number is 30 at the top and all the data has changed accordingly. And then you can also change the units along the side. So if you don't want to show each and every mark from 1 to 9, then you can just pop in number 5 and those units will change to go from 0 to 5 to 10 and so on. If we go on down to display units, click on the drop down, you can see that you can display those numbers in whatever denomination you want. So if we click on hundreds, you can see how they currently change and it will also name the value here. So if you now go down to number and you go down to this category section here, click on the drop down and you'll find all the different types of numbering that you might need for your chart, whether it's time, accounting, currency, and that's again where you can change those values. And again, if I choose number, you can go down and alter the different denominations of numbers, whether you want to include minus signs, decimal places, or brackets. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and change some of the colors. So once your chart is highlighted, go up to chart design, and then of course up here you've got a lot of different options to choose from. Click on this arrow here and that will bring up all the different design options you have available. In addition you can go over to this change colour icon here and then you can select from these default options here. You can just go ahead and change the colours to what you want. To complete more advanced changes if you highlight the chart you can go up to Format and go along to this Format pane on the right hand side. In addition you can just double click on the chart and you'll find that this menu appears on the right hand side. This will give you an awful lot of flexibility with all the different changes that you might need to make with your chart. For example, if I double click on this legend here then any changes I make in this section here will just apply to this legend here. So for example I'm now on the bucket icon. If I wanted to fill that legend with a colour, I would click on solid fill, go down to the colour, and then I could select from the colour ranges available. In addition, I could change the border around the legend to a solid line. I could change the colour of that solid line. And I could also change the width of that line. So if I wanted to increase the size, I could go ahead and increase the size of the border. Just double click again, make sure I'm on legend options, I'm on the bucket icon, click on no line and then I can return to where I was. And then if you wanted to change the size of that font or the font itself, then just go to the home tab, select a font of your choice, and then you can increase that font by either inserting the value there or increase size icon here. If you wanted to change the background colour, then again, click on your chart, go to chart options, make sure you're on the bucket icon. You can go to solid fill and then go down to the colour icon here. You can select from all the colours available and if not, you can simply click more colours and then your colour wheel will appear and you can go ahead and select from any colour you wish, click OK and your background will change colour. And Then you can go ahead and use the transparency tool to change the shading of that colour. In addition, you can use the gradient tool to make it a little bit more professional. And then if you want this legend to blend in, simply click on the legend, make sure you're on legend options, and just click no fill. And that will get rid of the background and you'll simply see the color through the legend. And finally, if you want to go ahead and just give your chart a shadow, just select the chart, go over to chart options, and go down to this effects icon, Click on the shadow menu 
and then you've got a number of presets within this icon here. Just go ahead and select a shadow of your choice and you can use all the different sliders to adjust your shadow. If I click off now, you can see that the graph has a slight shadow that looks like it's raised from the page. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.